Hey there, welcome to Mike's Workbench here in St. Michael's Forge where we're working on stuff, getting things done, having no idea what we're doing. So today I'm in here this morning on a Saturday morning and uh, we've got a few things going on. So number one, we are going to finish off these handles. I'm not going to do a whole lot to them. I was looking it over. You know, I am going to be fitting up uh, guards for these after they're heat treated and uh, or actually I'll do that before. That, now that I think about it, that is a better idea. And I am looking, there's just a teeny bit I want to take off of this one to match it up just right. Uh, yeah, and that'll get, so if we look here, length here is spot on for the blades. It's just a tad over on the handle here. All done freehand, so I'm pretty excited about how that worked. And uh, we're going to go ahead, though. I'll, I'll match that one up real quickly on the Origin Blade Maker grinder. I'll pull out maybe a 36 grit uh, red label abrasives belt. Red label abrasives. One of the ceramic belts, get that done. Then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to uh, drill the holes for the pins on these and get them ready. I am gonna go ahead and just do it. And uh, we'll do the, the guard after and actually now i'm looking i'm thinking of one other thing no nope, that's good i'm gonna go with it as is so i know i'm just rambling blah 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 so uh yeah so we'll do that we'll do the guards after probably a mistake but i don't really care um i want to get these into the even heat kiln today so at least for the first of the heat treating cycles in the meantime, once I get that, I'm going to start on the blade for my son. And I'm pretty excited about that. It's a crazy looking thing. Nothing I ever uh, designed on my own. But that's what the thing he came up with. Some fantasy D&D &D looking thing. Um, and so uh, that's what we're going to get started on. But that's going to be a very cool project. And so... That's where we're at. I got about maybe two hours if I'm lucky in here today. So we'll see what we get done. Let's go ahead and get working on these handles real quick and then uh, start on his blade. All right, so what we've done is this. I, I went ahead, I got the blades over onto the drill press, had a little bit of an issue starting out, uh, but got out my new drill bits. I forgot I'd ordered some special ones just for that and drilled them. I cannot find my punches. And as a result, I didn't punch first, so they're not exactly even uh, from the edges, which is a little disappointing. That's something I want to get a lot more exact on. You know, it would help if I had a punch to get that starter piece, that starter bit so they would go. I don't know where they went to. I, I'm at a loss, but this place is an absolute disaster as it is. Um, I'm still waiting. They, uh, the permits have been submitted for the back area so I can get a lot of this cleaned out and start to actually put it, organize it a little better. But we're at where we're at so and these are not going anywhere they're going to be mine unless i decide to gift them to somebody and i'll gift them to somebody who appreciates them for what they are if i do uh, but at any rate so i got those done here they are and uh after i did that i did some hand and uh quick filing on the holes to make sure they fit uh you can see that one how it's to the side it's just not where i want it the bottom one little better but still eh. we'll work on that uh, but having said that I put new scale on it I'm letting that dry a bit then I'm gonna put a second coat uh, then we're gonna fire up the even heat kiln and get these babies cooking that's what I'm looking to, forward to so we'll go ahead put that there we'll wait on those to dry um, what else have I done here so I punched those or did those on the drill press um and for, oh and then i quickly put them on the grinder just to smooth along the edges but i think we're good making progress these are going to get in the, the oven today all right
right, so I gave the knives a second coat. I've moved them up here, hanging them off my U.S. Army flag. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set it. I forgot, we don't wanna harden yet. I gotta I wanna normalize or anneal the blade. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run that cycle. Uh, we'll let the air cool after that. Then we'll go ahead uh, and the next phase will be to harden. So it looks like given the time today, we'll be able to get those things normalized. Um, and then we'll, uh, another day we're gonna do the harden and then the tempering. So let's go ahead. Uh, this is so easy. We have, it's touchscreen on the even heat kiln. Again, if you haven't seen an even heat kiln or one of these kilns like this, um, they're absolute game changer in the forge, you know. So I was doing everything just out of my actual forge and I, I love my, Mr. Volcano Forge, it rocks. It's great for heating and beating and uh, it'll come up to forge. Uh, oh shoot, man, long week. Uh, forge, why can't I, Ugh. not forge press. <laughs> hey. Forge weld, thank you. Yeah, I'm getting old folks. Uh, forge weld, it helps me, you know, you can get up to forge welding temp easy. I'm real excited. We're gonna be trying uh, some forge welding and stuff just to get ready for Damascus using that. And then the um, uh, Clark Iron Forge Press. But for today, we're here on the even heat kiln. And the beauty of this is the cycles can be very exact. You can have it ramp up to a certain temp where it then alerts you, place your knives in. And I've gone through this before, but you put it in and then it can go to the next you can create these multiple set points. So depending upon the type of steel you're dealing with, you can set it to absolutely what you need to do. So we have selected the normalization. I already have that schedule pre-done. And uh, now that we have that, let's see. Oh, actually, let's get out of there. We don't want, we're gonna go ahead and say start normalize start yes oh would you like to delay no i want it to start now there we go so this baby's going to start cranking up the heat picking it up when it gets up to the i think it's 500 or 550 it's going to alert me and i'll put the blades in i did add just so you know a second a third blade i had worked on an, an additional little scalpel knife. I really like that project we did. So uh, Gentry Custom Knives, that was awesome. And <laughs> I like it. So I gave one to my son. Uh, I'm gonna do this and give it to somebody. I don't know who. I've got some epoxy uh, handle material. I think I have enough for one more of these. So at any rate, heating up. It'll, we'll wait and then we'll get it on it. So let's get these out. Been grinding in the meantime, working on uh, shaping out some basics on my son's uh, custom knife with the angle grinder. Just getting that down to a workable uh, size and I got that where I want it. But uh, what we have going on, we went ahead, we normalized the uh, steel in our uh, dagger set, the railway spike dagger set. I also have a little um, scalpel knife that I've been working on on the side. I've got that one uh, done as well. We're just letting this cool down. So we're done for the day. Uh, my daughter wants to go out for pizza. So just quick recap. We went ahead, finished off with the handles, uh, drilled them out on the drill press. I need to find my metal punches. 
so I can do the set holes for starting. Otherwise, I'm going to continue to have uneven things, and I need to have them out and available, not, you know, everything's just shoved in here. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, so we did that. We then uh, took our uh, blades, the two dagger sets, and the uh, little uh, scalpel knife. Man, I'm just having trouble. I, I need some more sleep. Um, the little scalpel knife, the dagger knives, and we put some of the new scale on that, or no scale, so that we could put them in here and not have any uh, scale buildup, not worrying about that. We used the even heat kiln to bring it up to 550, put the blades in, brought them up to full temp, let them sit, uh, soak it in the heat, then uh, pulled them out when the cycle was done. And those are now air cooling and we are moving along. So with that, I gotta get going. This is Mike Ginati here for Mike's workbench here in St. Michael's Forge, where I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go, got a lot to learn. And uh, bidding you have a great rest of your weekend, have a great day and take care and as always, ciao.